Sophia Leimann. Tuba is one of our more senior members. Uh, she joined Istanbul Toastmasters, our sponsoring club, in 2011. She's, she's, she's now uh, the immediate past president. She was the president in last term. Um, she loves traveling very much. She loves cooking very much. She actually has a blog on cooking. And uh, she loves toast. She always tells me how much she loves Toastmasters. I think it's quite obvious since she's been here for a few years. So with your applause, I'd like to welcome you. Ask yourself, 
What did you feel in your dream? This is the most important question. How did you feel? Also, he tells, there may be some variations between your dreams. Sometimes some details may be changing. So I started thinking about my own recurring dream. There was this pattern. There is a car, I'm the driver, but the brakes are not working. So this never changed. But sometimes, as the theory suggests, some details kept changing. Sometimes I drive from very old different passenger seat. Obviously, I'm more British than I am in my dreams. <laughs> and even more oddly, I sometimes drive from the back seat. Apparently, I'm much more talented than I am in my dreams. So, those details changed, but the feeling never changed. In all, every single dream of mine, the feeling kept being the same. I was feeling stressful. I was feeling out of control. Something was wrong. So back to the question, why do we dream the same thing over and over? Why do we have recurring dreams? Recurring dreams are important. They do have very, sing very single and important message for us. And if we are not hearing the message of the recurring dream, the dream keeps repeating itself till we get the message. So do you have a recurring dream? If you do, ask yourself. What is the dominant feeling? What did I feel in my dream? And then ask yourself, in what part of my life do I feel, do I experience the same feeling? And then take a necessary action. I'm not having that greatest car dream anymore. Because once you reach an inner peace about that subject in your life, this is where the magic happens. The recurring dream stops recurring. Every time I woke up from that breakfast car dream, this was the sentence I told to myself. Thank God it was just a dream. When I was a kid, every time I had a nightmare, my mom told me, relax honey, that was just a dream. One of the greatest hits of all time, that song, Losing My Religion from Aria, ends with those lyrics. That was just a dream. That was just a dream. But you have listened to all those findings and research about recurring dreams. Maybe you have remembered your own recurring dream. So I would like to leave you with one question. Really, was it just a dream?